up everybody on YouTube my name is Spike Mandan. and welcome back to my channel today I break down something important to you that you the owners of a Coleman CT 100 you need to really know stick around and stay tuned don't forget to like and subscribe these are really important matters and I hope they're just as important to you as they are to me because it's a discovery of what I found about the carburetor on the CT 100 you Okay, welcome back. So what we have here is the CT100U Coleman and it's a the stock three horse that comes with the engine or I mean the bike itself blah blah blah, you know what I mean. But my bone picker is this. I've been looking at the airbox and I've been looking at on upgrades for this thing on gopowersports.com. It says choke this side says fully choked, but this side says fully open. Now, when I look at the carburetor, that right there is fully open. But what I can't understand is this. You dial it back the whole way, and what do we see? It's slightly choked. Hmm. So, what I want all my subscribers and mini bikers to know is this on the CT 100 U it's actually one click back from fully choked that it's actually wide open that is rather a bit strange but that is something I had just happened to notice and caught so I'm gonna actually be doing videos that's fully choked right there but I'm gonna actually be doing videos on just how big of a difference this makes because this is a new discovery for me it's not that is full wide open but it still looks like it may be slightly choked you, you notice there's like a slight gap and opening back there and there's a hole right here up front and there's that gap right there and that's that's horse shit to me this is fully unchoked but all the way back, it still seems like it's slightly choked. Why do these companies do this to us? I just figured out we're being lied to. So, with the stock carburetor, it's actually one click back from full, you know, like, unchoked. You don't want to go full choked because that's still semi-choked. It's one click back from full unchoked so you go all the way unchoked which you can clearly see the butterfly is restricting somewhat so if you go click one back that to me looks like fully unchoked I'm a little upset at this this whole goddamn setup some engineers are obviously trying to get their money's worth say oh you need to buy this you need to buy that for these upgrades i'm like no you just need to look into your engine a little bit more and realize where is your engine fully unchoked at because these airbox instructions however they want to suggest it Oh, run it fully all the way back, they say. It'll be fully unchoked, they say. Well, according to this, that's three quarters of the way back. This is all the way back. And that, to me, the butterfly is not straight open. That looks like a load of horror shit to me. But one click back from fully choked, now you got it fully open. I think I just figured something out. Why am I the only one to have videos like this? Oh, probably because I take the time to actually examine what I own. And I'm starting to think that 
the Predator, or no, uh, the Coleman CT200 use, uh, they're, they're aftermarket parts. I have a slight suspicion they could possibly work on this bike. I've even contacted GoPowerSports.com and they said no. But according to the bolt diameter size and the way everything fits up, if I'm correct, don't buy parts for no reason, folks. But I think I just might be tempted on buying a CT200U performance kit and trying it on the stock 3 horsepower engine and just seeing where I go. And yeah, I, I don't know. The whole world's just like, I feel like some people are lying to me. And they're telling me that, oh no, they won't work. But if most engines have the same bolt size and everything matches up, why the hell shouldn't I try it, you know? It's really starting to get to me. Well, my name is Spike Man Dan. I'm going to go ahead and put all this stuff back together. I don't have a camera person to help me out with this at the moment. But, uh... I will keep you guys up to date as to what's going on with the uh, CT100U. I'm trying to look into getting a Springer front end forks for it, but you know, that's neither. I've yet to find any parts for this yet. So go ahead and hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and share as always. My name is Spike Man Dan. Glad you could watch my videos. Go ahead and hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. We're going to get to the bottom of this whole choke situation and I'm going to have this all put back together. And like I said, we're going we're gonna to do some more test runs on just how much faster I can get with the GPS uh, my, uh, speed test on what that does. So stick around. Don't forget. Stay tuned. Spike Man Dan, tuning out.